I'm Zach Ressler. Have you ever wondered how baseball professionals hit the ball so well? Well, physics plays a key role. Now, let's take a look at Peter Hunt's swing, one of Samarin's best freshman hitters. The secret behind striking the ball well is bat speed and hitting at a 30 degree angle so the ball can cut through air resistance among other things. The ball has a total momentum of 7.18 kilogram meters per second. Momentum is mass times velocity. Momentum is equal to impulse, so the impulse is also 7.18 kilograms meters per second. At the point of impact, there is an elastic collision, which means that the ball and bat bounce off each other. In a perfect world, the elasticity would be 100%, and the velocity of the ball would be 42.784 meters per second. However, the real overall velocity of the ball is only 25.14 meters per second. The bat exerts a force of 6,699 newtons on the ball. By Newton's third law, each action has an equal and opposite reaction, so likewise, the ball is exerting a force of 6,699 newtons on the bat. The ball leaves the bat, and if the player has done everything right, it's a solid hit. This results in a parabolic arc. The ball has a horizontal velocity of 21.77 meters per second, and a vertical velocity of 12.57 meters per second. We calculated this by using the vectors and angles that form a right triangle. The acceleration of the ball due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. As the ball continues its flight, the vertical velocity diminishes due to gravity. At the top of the arc, the ball is at rest with a velocity of zero. Then gravity pulls it downward. Throughout this whole process, the horizontal velocity remains the same.